All right. So uh, just wait <coughs> for a moment until uh, most of you uh, have come back. Now, Alexander, do you know uh, what you have to do? Right? Have you have you done that important task? Don't tell me that you are just brushing your teeth. You don't know? You don't know you have to do something very, very special and you need to do this timely? How about Pencil, you know it? Huh? No, man, no, man, I'm not doing it, sir. Hey, come on, you have to do something. I've just sent a very important message to the Google Classroom. Oh, oh uh, uh, something about uh, what? SBA, you got it. Yes, that's right. So next week we will need to do SBA and uh, before that, here comes two chances for you to do uh, a trial. So you have to make the uh, reservation beforehand because of social distancing issue. I cannot uh, allow uh, so many people crowded in the lab. Do you know it? Huh? Benzil? Yes, oh, yes, means, yes. I know. That means, that means know, you haven't. That means you haven't made any reservation. I, I have fun. I have fun, but I'm going to. Uh, or just or maybe maybe you, you, you may just leave it later until until those uh uh popular slots have been booked. Okay, just wait. Now do lo, now do lo. Uh, and similarly for Zhang Gaoeng. Do you know? Hey, you still don't know what's happening. Yes, have you make, have you make the, may, maybe, maybe, oh, Camp DSE uh, will be scheduled on 28th of uh, April, but, uh, but maybe some of you may not heading for 2021, right? So you better wait until, right, the, uh, the following year. Uh, like when then you, you just reminded to some of you here, but not all of you. So today, what you're going to do is to, uh, I would like to show you the uh, assessment recent type questions on, uh, and also as well as a summary of chemical uh. equilibrium. Here comes chemical equilibrium. Uh. Okay, don't you know that? We, need, we are now proceeding yeah, very, very fast. Yeah. And here comes equilibrium. Zhang yeah. Gaoeng. Yeah. Is it Chan Ging Hei? Now, the two more chapters to go. First one, chemical equilibrium. Okay. And uh, if you can manage to make the booking and uh, tonight I will spend some minutes on you on uh, the detail of the SBA. So uh, that means in the daytime, uh, that means in the daytime, uh, we are going to go overview of the equilibrium first. And then uh, tonight, okay, tonight I will spend some minutes that they will not take you too long for uh, tonight's lesson. Uh, will be on the briefing on the SBA. Okay. You get what I mean? Uh, Zhang Gaoling, uh, don't just tease your classmates. Instead, you will be quite a lot of area to be teased. Don't you know that? In general, we are going to talk about the chemical equilibrium, which means uh, something reversible, right? Uh, reversible reactions. And uh, 
And now we will say uh, something like a state of equilibrium, but in chemistry, that type of state of equilibrium is said to be what? Dynamic. Do you still remember what is mean by dynamic equilibrium? Right? Zhang Gaoming, what is mean by dynamic equilibrium? But you better split that into two parts, right? But both forward and backward rays. So, so what is set as the dynamic and equilibrium? That two term. So even though we have got forward and backward reaction together, uh, you did not. It didn't say anything about the equilibrium. Can you further elaborate about the rage? Okay, so what is mean by dynamic equilibrium? Lavanzai, you know? You talk about forward rate and backward rate and try to relate the two, right? What is the relationship between the two? Yes, and you just tell me something about equilibrium. Uh, Wang Zhongheng, you just say that they are at equilibrium. That's uh, uh, what is mean by dynamic. They are equal, but they are not. They are not equal to zero. So we will say that dynamic. The first part, I would like to uh, stress to all of you. Second, uh, they uh, you are going to take a look on the shifting in the equilibrium position when I have got a disturbance. Okay, we have got a disturbance. So we will call it a subject to a change. So the change can be uh, something like pressure, concentration, temperature. So that's why you may see that when, I go, when I'm going to alter one of the factors or the other factors, you need to keep the same. Okay, so, uh, but in industrial process, uh, what we are having uh, heading for is not the relationship between each factor, but all together, we need to consider uh, the all factors are uh, in the into consideration such that we can produce as much products uh, within a very, very short time. We call it efficiently, right? And so we will say that at optimum condition, right? So we call it optimum, something like the, uh, uh, the maximum, right? Uh, which is the most satisfactory condition. So the other uh, for further details, you know it in industrial chemistry. So uh, we will call that a uh, for mathematical parts, we talk about equilibrium law. So you need to have KC value. So KC, what is that? The C here will give you a hint that you are going to calculate the relative ratio of the concentration of product over reactant with their respective indices. Okay, while well, the index, which means the one on the right, uh, top right hand corner, right, it is what, uh, it is, uh, you have to go back to stoichiometry in the chemical equation. And you use this for the calculations. So that's why up to this part, you may know uh, to, uh, you need to know how to solve it sometimes by using quadratic equations. And, uh, and use this, the KC, and you may need, you may also can use this to predict the effect of the changes, right? On, uh, if I change it upon the, uh, uh, the concentration of either reactant and product. So you may have that concept, a QC, and use this to compare with KC. Uh, but for temperature, it is a little bit more complicated because uh, here comes another formula, we call the fence of equation. Do you still remember? Okay, so which is uh, calculated as uh, the electro log K equals constant minus delta H over RT. So this is what I uh, did. It may help you understand more about upon, uh, what, what, how the temperature 
uh, affects the shifting in equilibrium position. Now, because of the sign of delta H, it can be positive, it can be negative. So you may find that uh, the nature of the reactions play uh, with uh, many affect uh, the shifting in equilibrium position. For some reactions, uh, if you want to increase the yield, I need to increase the temperature. But for some uh, and other type of reactions, uh, even I increase the temperature, the yield become lower, right? So all those can be explained in terms of uh, this band of equation, okay? And this is something about the equilibrium shifting. So if you don't know anything about this, don't worry. Uh, you, uh, you may also use La Chatelier's principle to help you predict. To help you predict what's happening, okay? La Chatelier's principle. So this is what uh, you talk about the chemical equilibrium. And uh, shall we take a, a very quick look on that uh, to review what is that? First of all, you need to know uh, the characteristic of dynamic equilibrium, as I said before, is an irreversible reaction. Forward rate equals backward rate, is, but they, both they are not equal to zero. They will never end, right? Second, you talk about KC expression, you should know. And uh, you should know the express, the mathematical relationship. Well, and of course, you use this for calculations. Three, uh, you are going to show the effect of changes of concentration and temperature of the chemical equilibrium. For the prediction part, it's easy. You use La Chatelier's principle and you may help. But if you want to get to know more about uh, the mathematical prediction, you may use QC or inverse, uh, versus KC or you may use Van Hoff equation. Okay, that's the just the end of uh, the chemical equilibrium, a very short topic. But uh, the calculations inside, they may uh, require you more sophisticated mathematical skills. Questions? Now, if not, uh, shall we take a look on the uh, questions now? Questions? Any any questions so far? Do you have anything to say? No. Really no. Good. We just said no. Ben Siu. Siu Jun Hai. Hi, I'm Messi Asher. Messi Asher. Wow. From your wordings, uh, you seem like you, you, you want to say that I, I just annoy you. Or maybe, My... <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe, don't worry, I just delete your record. Uh. Uh, don't come back. No, 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 no. I really want to talk to you, Asher. I'm still here. All right. So, uh, so yeah. or, uh, to ensure me, right, you should be the first one to answer the following questions about chemical equilibrium. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, to start with, uh, uh, let me search for file first. Is it 39? On, let me see, where is it? Oh, how come? Here. Can you see that? I don't want, indeed, I don't want to share the screen, but uh, I, I don't know why. I can't. Now, can you see that? Tido, Tido. Yeah, you'll be the first one. Just like last time, right, to answer the following. First, first question, take a look. The equilibrium state, or maybe I'm a, I'm a Nefa here. The equilibrium state can be attained only in a closed system, uh, in a closed system, okay? And second, a closed system can prevent the loss of chemical. See ya. Why? Why would you think that the first statement is wrong? Uh,
โอ้เอ่อ well ช่วงก้าวแหว่ง could you please help answer this part what do you think yes that's right So if you go going to talk about the chem state of the chemical equilibrium, you need to uh, do perform the experiment in the closed system, and that is the reason. Okay, so uh, go back to the equilibrium expression Kc. Okay, uh, the Kc refers to concentration. In case the system is open, what will happen to the concentration? Okay, very 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 small, right? So uh, normally, for those so-called reversible reactions, they will go to one way instead. Benzyl, you better watch the um, videos for your chemical equilibrium. It is just uh, something fundamental. Fundamental. Course one o o one. The first statement. You talk about chemical equilibrium. Is that? You are going to consider the system in a uh, the system in a closed container. Thank you. Number two. Zhang Gaowen. Equilibrium can be attained from either reactant side or product side. Only reversible reactions can achieve the equilibrium states. The first one is the tech. Second, only reversible reactions can achieve equilibrium state. What does it mean by equilibrium in chemistry? Okay, something equal, right? So, what is equal? You talk about rate. So what do you say? What what do you say about this? I I just took I I just took out another guy, but who did not watch any videos. Have I guessed it correctly? Especially for the part of assertion type recent as assertion recent type questions. Alexander, hey, hey, Colonel Zee, what do you think about the second question? Correct. The second statement is correct. So is it A or B? B. Nothing related, right, to to those two statements. Is it or A? You guess. Only reversible reactions can achieve equilibrium state. Are both statements they are correct? So what does mean by that? If you say that A, which means that, uh, we have got the reversible reactions, right? You talk about reversible reactions. If you go to the reactant side, they or uh, they will have a uh, adjustment, right? So we got, we call it a shifting, uh, in technical terms, in the equilibrium position, just that, uh, they will attain a new, uh, they will attain equilibrium. So you may see QCKC, okay? So either direction, they will have this. Number three, the equilibrium. Take a look or La Wen Zheng. La Wen Zheng is D. Both are wrong. The equilibrium constant is a constant, no matter how conditions vary. Come on, yeah, some exception. Can you refer? What is that? 
Oh, you mean temperature, right? You mean temperature? You mean temperature, right? De temperature dependent constant. Yes, that's right. That is the um, nature of those equilibrium constant. Kc is a temperature dependent constant. So this one is a cross. When chemical state is attained, the concentration of reactant and those of the product are the same. No, no, not really. Uh, that, that data uh, comes from that KC, right? The relative concentration of reactant and product can be calculated by KC. Well, KC is not, this, it is not a just a fixed number to tell you they are equal. Okay, so this is D. Bon Jun Hei, number four. Number four. When a state of equilibrium is changed, the reaction stops. Of course, first statement is not correct, okay? Will not stop, okay? Rate never approaches zero. The second statement, all the reactants that are used up when a state of equilibrium is attained. Oh God, no, okay? There will be some locations where reactants go to product, but at the same time, product goes to reactant. D, number five. Who's next guy? Who'll be the next one? Zhang Kuan Wei. When a state of equilibrium is attained, the reactions are stopped again, right? This statement is not correct. And how about the second statement? When a state of equilibrium is attained, there's no observable change for the reaction mixture. Is C, there, there is, okay? For example, uh, the color of the, uh, the gas, if there are some color gas, right, of course you may, you may observe there is a color. It's number six. Chen Long Wong. The, all equilibrium systems have equal concentrations of reactants and products. At equilibrium, both the forward and the backward reactions stop. Very similar for the food to the previous question, right? Yes, you just flip it, right? That question is flip it uh, when you compare it with uh, question four, right? Question four, very similar, right? Take a look. Number seven. How about next guy? Uh, Chen Jihin. Chem equilibrium can only be attained in open system. At equilibrium, the rate of forward rate, uh, forward reaction and rate of backward reactions are equal. Chan Jihin, where are you? Hi, Chan Jihin. Chan Jihin. Ben Siu, question seven. Okay, okay, wait. Uh, you just... uh, 第一個前面, even Ho Jin Pan, more quickly than you. Cross and take. This first one. Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why you need to check? Yes, they, you know the crust of a problem, right? Now, number eight. Chen Geng Hei. When N2 and H2, they are allowed to react in a closed container. The rate of their reaction increases as the system approaches equilibrium. 
the amount of ammonia in the container increases as the system approaches equilibrium. Where are you? Cross and take. Cross and take. How wrong is this? The first statement. Which part is wrong? That should be decreased. Yes, that's right. Because uh, at that at the very beginning, concentration of Nitrogen and hydrogen, they are the greatest. They are the greatest, okay? So that's why it is C, okay? So it is, it is so uh, once uh, the, at the very beginning, the formation of ammonia should be the highest and gradually it drops upon the consumption of the reactant. So that is C. Number nine. Number nine. Choi Jong Sa. When a mixture of SO2 and O2 is allowed to reach equilibrium in a closed container, the pressure of a system decreases in the process. And uh, the two moles of uh, SO2 and one more O2, we have to give two, two more of SO3. A, mm, yeah, that's right, A. Okay, you can explain. SO2, O2 is a little bit closer, this container the pressure drop. Okay, pressure drop. So because uh, we are going to attain the equilibrium by producing SO3, but if you count the total mole, okay, if you count the total mole, here comes the relationship. Two moles of SO2, one mole of O2 to form two moles of SO3. Okay, so we will gradually, we have got three moles on the left hand side, two moles of the right hand side, and here comes the larger area and a smaller area here, right? So uh, the total number of gas particles gradually decreases, the pressure decreases until we go them. Okay? And uh, or the impact. Number 10. A system with QC much greater than KC can attain equilibrium rapidly. The difference between QC and KC uh, can be used to predict the rate at which the equilibrium is rich. No. That first statement is wrong. Second statement. Can you get uh, the point difference between QC and KC can be used to predict the rate at which the equilibrium is reached. So which means the time uh, of attainment of equilibrium. Okay. Can you, can you say that QC is greater than K KC while the, uh, the attainment of equilibrium will be faster or slower? Can you use it to predict it like this? Not really, okay? So this is D, okay? It's D. Number 11. Number 11. Uh, the reaction with small KC attains equilibrium slowly. The value KC can be used to predict the rate at which equilibrium is reached. Again, can you see the word? That idea is the same as the previous question. The first one is not, not correct. Uh, it's not correct. How about second? The value KC can be used to predict a rate. It, uh, again, same thing. Remember, it is nothing to tell about the time of it, attainment of equilibrium. So the answer is D. Okay? Can you get a point? 
this day. Questions? Now, if not, you take a look. We shall will continue on quest, uh, chapter 40. We have got some questions from 12 to 29. All those, they are just shifting in the equilibrium position, right? Very authentic example. So you may see uh, there will be more questions here. Now, question 12. Who will be the next guy? After Chao Hui Pong Gao and Wang Chun Hong, you're responsible for 13. Of is twelve is D. Now take a look on the first two statements. They are not. They, are they correct or not? First of all, upon the pressure increase, the equilibrium position of a gaseous reaction shift by all means. No, no. Actually, that may be a case. Can you think of some exception? How about the first statement? Yes, you may think of this, right? Good. Now, this is one of the example, but you can generalize this by telling what? By comparing the total stoichiometry between the reactant and product, okay? So the total stoichiometry, or if of both reactant and product, they are equal, which means are the pressure the pressure change doesn't affect the shifting in the equilibrium position. Okay, so this is the first statement is wrong. Second statement, the equilibrium constant of a gaseous reaction mixture remains unchanged. Why is it unchanged? It's correct. Why is it unchanged upon a change in pressure? Yes, you are going to tell me that temperature doesn't change in this case. So then temperature is just the only factor uh, which, 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 which will affect the KC value. So cross and text is C. 13, Wang Zhen Hou. The pressure increase does not change the equilibrium position of an aqueous reaction. The pressure increase does not change the equilibrium constant. C. Why is the first statement wrong? The, the second statement, you know it, similar as the previous question about first statement. The pressure increase does not change the equilibrium position of an A equals reaction. Can you see the word A equals pressure? Do you know why? Okay, so the first one is correct, and this is B. A equals reaction. Nothing be changed by upon uh, any changes in pressure. A equals, can you see that? A equals solution. A equals system. Okay. So 14, but not gaseous, right? If it's gaseous, even though I put a mark gaseous, you need to uh, uh, refer to the total stoichiometry between reactant side and product side, right? You know, to compare uh, whether or not he, ha he, has a, he has got an impact or not. Okay. Not necessary to have an impact. Huh? 14. Zhang Gaowing again. At a constant temperature, a gaseous reversible reaction is not affected by all means upon the pressure change, right? Uh, this is the third time. You know, that, that concept is very, very important, right? And there is an increase in the concentration of both reactant product in case of pressure increase in the gaseous reversible reaction. Zhang Gaowing. 
，张家荣。The choice please. A B C or D. The second statement can be easily judged, right? If one see why you were here, right? Uh, I'm sure he would give you this. Come on. Zhang Gaowen, you just daydream. You take a look on the question 12 and 13. This is the third time of telling this statement. A cross, a big cross, please. Not affected. This is not always not affected. Okay, it depends. It depends on the total stoichiometry between the product and reacted. The only case, the only case which makes that true is when the total number of gas particles in the reactant side equals the product side. That is the only scenario. Do you understand? You just say, okay, but have you watched the video? Tell me about equilibrium. And uh, this one, I'm undoubtedly true, okay? Okay, you're so frank to me. When we watch it, you are now preparing for 2022. Lao Wen Zhang, do you know that, right? You just and then you just briefly announced the date of 2021 doesn't help. Why right? doesn't doesn't relate to the all people here? 15. Overall. Is the okay? In general, there's no change in chemical equilibrium constant for the reaction upon the temperature change. No change, temperature change. No, sorry, no. Upon temperature change, okay, KC value will change. Okay, so equilibrium constant. No, no, it's a temperature dependent constant. I said before many many times. And uh, sixteen. Wang Junhe, for the following reactions, the chemical uh, the equilibrium position of the reaction shift to the right upon the pressure increase. The first statement is correct. Okay, the volume of a system decrease upon the pressure increase. Yes, that's right. So, but they, I, I must say that uh, the, it doesn't tell too much about the uh, explanation. So I cannot tell it as A is B, okay? At least you need to tell something more what happened afterwards, okay? Which is what the change is a pressure, uh, the change is a pressure change. So the chemicals equilibrium system will adjust itself in order to minimize the increase in the pressure. So they will shift to the, a, a net, they will carry a net forward reaction, right? Because net forward reaction, they will produce a smaller gas pressure of a system, okay? So you know something about this. So this is the, the whole explanation part, but not uh, just volume degrees. 16B, 17. Zhang Wei. Seventeen. 
then one more where you increase the temperature of a system of a reversible reaction with the endothermic forward reaction leads to the decrease in the rate of a backward reaction. About the reversible reaction, and the very forward reaction, the equilibrium position shift to the right. So forward reaction, yes, this one is correct. How about the first statement? It's wrong. How wrong are they? Or backward rate should be increased. Why? Yes, that's right. Because what? You did not tell anything about the explanation. Tell the rate, right? Indeed, whenever, where is, uh, what, what type of reaction is this? Forward or bad reaction? I increase the temperature. The rate should increase. Okay? But the extent of increase is different so as to create a shifting in equilibrium position, right? Which results in the shifting in equilibrium. Can you get my point? So both forward rate and backward rate should increase upon the temperature increase. However, right, the extent of increase is different. So as to generate a shifting in equilibrium position to the right. So if that is the case, uh, which means that the full, that should be the backward rate, should increase in the rate in a small extent, just like what Sanking has been suggested. So what is the answer? There should be a cross here, right? Cross. It's not correct. Cross and take C. Uh, for those who do not understand what's that, you better circle it. Uh, very, uh, uh, very challenging questions, which has your concepts. 18. Wong adding some hydrogen to a equilibrium system of COH2C and methanol vapor will cause the amount of H2 in the new equilibrium mixture would decrease relative to the previous equilibrium. When some hydrogen is added to the equilibrium, this is a net reaction to occur to consume some of the hydrogen. The second statement is easy to understood, right? So second statement is correct. How about the first statement? So what happens? Or if you don't understand what is that, you better write a what? A chemical equations. So for CO, H2, CH3, OH. Something like this, okay? And you need to put a two here. So this is the equilibrium system you are now going to consider. Adding some, can you get a point? Okay, 18. Uh, Cedric, well, why would you think that it's a cross? Yes, that's right. So, adding some hydrogen already make the amount of hydrogen very, very, uh, I do have an amount of this increase. Okay, already make it in a, a increase. So, what's next is to have a shifting in the equilibrium position to minimize the effect, but not just totally go back to the original situation because you have disrupt the original chemical equilibrium. Okay, so they, which means that they will not increase. Finally, it will still increase when you compare to the previous equilibrium, right? just like this one that you may get. Yes, that's right. Good. Somebody you draw this graph, a very good, a very good way to tell. Okay, you cannot go back to here, it's the same or even drop like this, okay? You cannot, can you get a point? So only this. So this one to describe that scenario will decrease, no, sorry. When you compare with previous one, it still increase. Can you get a point? Cross and take C. Can you get a point? 
our 19. Yeah, again, a very challenging question. Circle it. A good question testing for concepts. Who not D? 19. I think one drop of uh, iron 3 to the equilibrium system of iron 3, thousand and thousand eight iron 3 will increase the intensity of, of red color of the mixture. Adding iron, there should be iron 3 chloride. The 3 should be subscript to the system, the wrong spelling. We increase the concentration of what? Well, uh, too much wrong spelling here. Hey. The thousand iron 3 ions in the mixture. So can you relate the equations? That is iron. This is iron 3 plus thou sine H, the visible sign to form thou sine to iron 3 ion. So this is a very authentic rough red, okay, complex formation. So can you relate? Yes. Second statement, surely correct. And then how about first statement? Increase the intensity of the red color of the mixture. What makes red? Yes, that's right. So the answer is yeah, overtake. And the second statement can relate to the first. It's A. Even though I'm at one drop, it will uh, already uh, disrupt the equilibrium system. 20. How about Chen Zihin? Are you here? 20. When the plunge of a syringe containing a pale brown equilibrium mixture of N2O4 and O2 is quickly pushing. Wow. Whenever you see this, well, you better refer to the equation, right? What is the equation? This is N2O4 gas equilibrium to form 2NO2. So, okay, and now uh, you may see the word darkens, right? So you, uh, you please refer to the relative color of the two. Do you still remember what is the relative color of the two? Some, one of them is yellow, one of them is brown, right? Changing, hey, do you still remember? Yes, that's right. Which one is the darker color? Darker color is on here, right? Darker color is on NO2. So go back to the question. Can you tell me the answer? Plunge of a syringe containing a pale brown equilibrium mixture of two, those two. Quickly push it. The mixture first lightens and the darkens. Sorry, no. First of all, immediately darkens and then lightens. Yes. It is opposite. Have a second statement. Concentration of NO2 first decreases. Well, it's just BS, right? It's D. Now, 21. When the volume, are uh, nine more questions to go. When the volume of a container of a equilibrium system, H2, I2, HI is decreased. The color intensity of the mixture remains unchanged. The position of the equilibrium system of H2, I2, and HI is not affected by the pressure change. Susan Hay. The second statement is correct. How about the first statement? It's wrong. It's wrong. Or do you mind just say the same number more, but something is different this time? The answer is not remains unchanged. It is what the color intensity of the mixture increase. Why? Concentration of the color species. This time it is iodine increase right because of volume shakes 
Okay, cross and take C, 22. Turn away, decreasing the volume of the reaction vessels of the equilibrium system of N2. Oh, that uh, again, yes, that's right. First of all, write down the equation first and then judge the equilibrium position. Could you please write a reversible sign instead of one way arrow? Double arrow, please. Okay, yes, thank you. And then please judge will cause the rate of a reaction between N2 and H2 to increase. Decreasing the volume, you can see the disturbance, this time decreasing the volume. Yeah, something, miss, it, something missing, you write down two here. Who wrote that two, the big two? What happened to you? Two N on the left hand side, two N on the right hand side already. Okay. So hey, you you just you just saw for my attention, right? You'll be the next one to answer question 33. 22. Attack. Cross the rate of a reaction between that increase. Why? Simply because of what? Pressure increase. Rate increase for gaseous particles okay decreasing the volume of reaction mixture will increase the amount of, ammon uh, of ammonia this is something about the shifting in chem uh, equilibrium position and you have going to consider what the total stoichiometry to predict okay so you apply a chatelier's principle for you to predict so this is a tech okay but you may see that the first statement, you talk about rate. The second statement, you call about equilibrium. So they are not related. It's B, 23. Susan, hey, why would you write down the first what, first statements being a tech and second statement being a cross and here comes no such choice. But you just write down B, double fault. 23. The first statement it's not just the first statement second statement they are wrong but also something else <sighs> 23 when the equilibrium did both are wrong tell me how wrong are they I do I do think Bansu is a is a correct person, uh, is the right person to say so. How wrong it is. So what is that equilibrium equation? That is NOO2 to form NO2. Okay, to the two here and the two here and use this to predict. No, first of all, not this one. Kc increase is wrong because no change in temperature. How about the first statement? Equilibrium or uh, mixture of this is transferred one dm container, uh, more NO2 will form. No. The volume decrease, right? The volume, uh, the volume increase, the pressure decrease. Okay, so you are going to do something to make the pressure increase. So the equilibrium position will be shifted to the left. Okay. So all of you, you better write down this. Just to remember that, that concept. Both our process is D. And now uh, 24. 24. Who else? Oh, hey, upon Gao. So, hey, have you have you tried? Next guy. 
陈浩希 twenty four。黄家豪 ，you you just answer twenty four right? Is it C? Is it? Yes, that's right. It's C. Cross and attack. Oh, hey, you need to answer question twenty five. When the volume of a container was that equilibrium, okay, you are going to write down this. And then, when the volume is decrease, volume decrease, which means pressure. What volume decrease, which means pressure increase, right? So you are going to consider that. You know to judge the change in the equilibrium position. The value of Kz will increase. Of course, it's not. Okay, temperature doesn't change. Only cross and the tech is C. Twenty-five. Volume of containers decrease more than before. Shifting. Yeah, that's correct. C. How about twenty-five? Oops. Twenty-five. Is B both are take, but they are not. Nothing related. Right, constant temperature, changing pressure, no effect is correct. Value of K C depends only on temperature is correct, but they, but they, that two statements they are in the, not related. Remember the the reason behind you need to tell the total stoichiometry in the number of moles of R uh, of reactant side and the product side they are equal. One uh, with two molar to form two molar they are equal. So that is the reason. Twenty six. Who is the next guy? Pong Da Ho. Oh, you you have finished, right? And Wang Zhen Ho. Twenty six. Four more questions to go. Twenty six. Cross. Increase the yield. It's wrong. Increase the temperature. Why? Why is wrong? Correct. Correct for. What is exothermic? What is exothermic? So you need to indicate very clearly because well we have got either way to go. Forward reaction is exothermic. Forward reaction is exothermic, which means this, right? Okay, so increase the temperature. What will happen? You say this. I just follow. One of these thought is it will decrease the yield. Is it correct? Increase the temperature, they will decrease the yield. Okay, so you will increase the rate of the reaction between this. That statement is very very general, right? No matter it's forward rate or backward rate, increase the temperature will increase reaction rate, but to a different extent. Okay, so cross and attack C. Three more questions. Who can finish that three? Okay, one to you you answer that. Let's see, yes, that's right. How about first statement? And the system is equilibrium. The amount of product increases upon the addition of catalyst. Sorry, no, catalyst. But yes, you have to tell right, catalyst. So what is that? It would help shorten the attainment of equilibrium, but it doesn't affect the yield of the reaction. Okay, so cross second statement. I have to increase the rate of reaction, but at the same time, something is missing, right? And also backward reaction. To the same extent, so that's why the yield doesn't change. Cross and take C, twenty eight and twenty nine also C. Catalyst can decrease the enthalpy changes. Oh, nothing tell, nothing related to the catalyst and this one because enthalpy change of reaction it depends on the nature of reaction. It's cross. Catalyst is used in many uh, a very general statement. Who said that harbor? What was that? 
H A B E L. Copy 21 times, Chang Keng Hei. A temperature of zero degrees Celsius is usually used in a hubble process. No, not really. And decrease the temperature will increase the yield of ammonia in the hubble process. So you have to get to know what's mean by hubble process. Okay, N2, H2 to form NH3. No offense, could you please balance that equation for me? How about process? Uh, no offense, but I've just written. You have what you need to do is just you just do, just, just balance. Reversible sign, please. Tell me the nature of a reaction. Exo or endothermic reaction in a forward. It's endo. Is it? Endo. So decrease the temperature will increase the yield. Is it correct? Let's see. Okay. Now, uh, for these two uh, chapters, I, I will find that it tests lots of the chemical concepts, not only on chemical equilibrium, but also rate, if you realize. And also something about mole concepts. Uh, it's time to go back to study more about this topic. And uh, tonight, we will see you again, and I would like to introduce more to you about the SBA requirements. Okay? How about the others? Unanti, how about your level attainment in this chapter? Ben Siujan Gawain, tell me your level of understanding. Are oh, you two, you two are so. Are so intelligent uh, even though you haven't watched the video you still managed to mark it uh, how dare you to say three and four uh, which means that you're going tonight you can you can manage to finish those mcs or you have broken your promise you just get submit the work once to me and afterwards, you did not submit any more. You better submit all your words before you, you, you draw anything else here. How about your essay? How about your all other quizzes? Now so much for today. Goodbye.